We are back with Insomniacs After School, episode 8. I'm sad that we have like four weeks left of this season, dude. Last episode was fantastic. Was amazing. Now that I think of it, I'm starting to like wiggle my feet like a little schoolgirl. I'm going to Kuhn. I mean, my heart's going to be fast thinking about last episode, man. It was amazing. We had the firework festival last episode. It, a lot of progress happened. You know, they, they were handing out flyers for the meteor shower, enjoying the time that they can. And obviously, who doesn't like fireworks? I mean, Nakami thinks it's a bit boring from the previous couple episodes ago. From the previous couple episodes ago, that sounds stupid. So, they were able to sneak onto the school roof, Nakami, Isaki, and her four other friends. And they had the perfect view for Firework Festival. But for the first couple of minutes, it was just Nakami and Isaki. And he accidentally said that Isaki was very beautiful called her very cute indirectly he, she just, he just agreed to a statement that Isaki said saying that oh you're just nervous because you never had a girl this cute next to you and he was like yeah and it was a very romantic moment but it got ruined obviously by her friends when they busted in after Nakami was going to ask Isaki a very important question and then after that they had a talk about her insomnia and how her, her and her health and how like a fourth of, or it beats irregularly because of a health issue that she had that from a young age so that's why every time Isaki hugs Nakami and hears his heartbeat, she gets calm and is able to sleep. So Nakami is like, talk to me if you can't sleep. You know I'm the worst sleeper. This is saying so many romantical things. And in the end, he downloaded a radio app, made his own radio station, and hosted a radio show just for Isaki so she could fall asleep. And it's one of the most romantical things I've ever seen in my life. That shit was sublime. In return, or not even return, uh, just Isaki started one herself as well to talk to Nakami, shared about herself. She had like an older sister. In the midst of all that, she was able to find her fall asleep, bro. That was just that's just progress right there. She was able to fall asleep. Nakami just laughed himself to sleep. And it was amazing. I feel like I've been talking for so long because I got very into it. <laughs> So let's just get on with this episode. Oh, they're gonna go tanning? They're gonna go tanning? Yo, that's what's up. Bro's getting a tan and getting, getting paid to get a tan. That's kind of lit. <laughs> Yo, they're on her ass. Ooh. Your radio show yesterday was amazing. I gotta tell you that. It was beautiful. What a good light I just help her out. Ooh. First break of high school, summer break, that's lit, bruh. Steamy kelp, what the fuck? That's smart. What if you get both? At, what if you get two because of that? She posted at the same time, that's what she got. What the fuck is a kibosh? What is she on about, bruh? Wait, am I not able to go through? Oh, shit. Is it put in a plan if it doesn't get approved, then they're fucked? She got the wrong one. Ew, steamy kelp. That's nasty. How are you gonna eat, drink something so bad for fun? What's your thought process there? Because I would just easily throw it away. Oh, they're sneaking. Nope, they're gonna they're gonna get so busted. Hmm. <laughs> Yo, she's too strong for her own good. Oh, they can Let's fucking go. Let's go. That's a W. That's a big fucking W, bro. Oh, it's gatekept. Ew. Is that, is that Monkey D. Luffy? Are they able to? Ooh, let's go. That's a W. That's a sick ass spot to have lunch too, man. I feel like they're bothered. Ew. Damn, those are big ass onigiris, man. According to the cop, that's what's up. That's how I eat it too, man. Wait, no, she's right, dude. That's so cl What the fuck? That was so quick. What? That actually takes really good balance. That's very skilled. Um. Wait, what? You're very... That's fucking sensitive. That's sensitive as shit. Ew. You better fly away. What? What? Nah, I'm gonna go bun if I do that, dude. That's so weird. What? What she got? I'm just not gonna show it? My pal- Oh! Is that supposed to be my- My neighbor Totoro? 
reference. That's sick, though. Recite every line. That's insane. <gasps> Is he falling asleep to a radio show? Oh, no, it's just another podcast. <laughs> what are you dreaming about? What are you dreaming about, my boy? <laughs> oh, her mom. That's sad. <laughs> she looks beautiful, too. Look at his blue frames. Looks like a Pokemon trainer. Yeah, her mom is very beautiful. Look at that hair. Oh, his dad came and woke him up. God damn it, bro. What you... He was late about to fall asleep, bro. You're fucking up the vibes, bro. Let's see this. Let's see this throw. Let's see this throw. Oh, home run. That was a pretty good throw. Oh. Let's go. That's a one attendee. Let's fucking go. That's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. What a sick ass architecture built house. What is that? What is that area? Is this like a library? Oh, they're getting permits and shit. That's a W. What is that foundation? Oh, is it like staff sticks for the for like the marching band people? That makes sense. That makes sense though. Oh, y'all are scheming crazy, bruh. <laughs> yeah, how are you wearing jeans and like uh, overalls in the summer? I need shorts, man. My legs are so sweaty, especially the back of my knee. Now you gotta do more, yeah. It's just a start. It's just a start. Oh, she has an upper hand. Oh, God. And it's her favorite, too. What is that, carrot? Oh. <laughs> Yo. Wait, that's his house? Is that his house? That's a sick ass house, bro. I would love that type of house, man. Like a little open landscape. What? He was actually athletic? He was athletic? What? That's sick. Let's go, Nakami, man. You were him. He peaked too early. Oh, that's why. Damn. That's sad, bro. I don't know, maybe you're poor? I don't fucking know. Oh my god, he came with the cut. He needs a bell around his neck like a cat. Oh, that's another W. Let's go. I'm gonna be alone. Bring an umbrella. That's, yeah, I think it's perfect, yeah. You're there, you have one attendee, man. Student body, 50 people? Oh, God. Oh, that poster's amazing, too. Oh, let's go. More help. It's all coming together, bro. Now he's getting hyped. He's getting energetic. He's like the old him. <laughs> he looks so goofy. He looks like an actual alien. Oh, this is beautiful, man. Look at his smile. Look at his cute smile. Help here. Oh. No, bro. <laughs> no, bro. No fucking way, bro. Of course this fucking happens, bro. After being so fucking invested, bro. Of course this dumb shit's gonna happen, bro. The weather always fucks everything up, bro. I'm actually getting mad. All for nothing. That's the worst feeling ever, bro. Oh, Tu Chan even got wet. Poor Tu Chan. I wonder how distraught he's feeling, dude. Please tell me it lets go. I can't read weather maps, so... No, no. My nature is a bitch, bro. I feel so bad, bro. I feel so bad, dude. For all that hard fucking work, bro. After party? Shinomaru was like, yeah. Wow, wow, what a smart way to do it. Hamburg steaks? Yo, that's a W. That's lit, yo. 
Can turn your stuff out of Koopa for it. That's a good way to use it. He's not going to anytime soon, bro. Oh, I feel so bad for him, man. Please find him, bro. Please find him. I want you, not uh, Isaki, to find him specifically. I mean, she don't want it too. She could probably talk some sense into him. I mean, both these people are actually really good choices too because I feel like they're compassionate enough to speak from the heart. And it'll definitely stick with. Okay, that's one gone. This is it's you now. Oh my God, the wind looks so bad too. There goes our umbrella. This one's gonna get sick, bro. Rain. Look how drenched he is. I know that feel. I know that feeling too, man. You're just numb. You're just completely numb. He snapped out of it. He did. Let's fucking go. Does <laughs> that doesn't matter anymore? You both got drenched now. <laughs> Is this like when they? Isn't this when they first hid from the police? I don't know. It just looks familiar. You know, it's funny right now outside my house is actually raining pretty heavily too. Like, I, I don't know. I don't know if you can hear it, but it's, it's, it's raining pretty bad. Oh, what? What? It's literally morale crushing, dude. But then again, you can't stress about that stuff. You know, like it's, it's something you can't control. So I feel like you just have to let it go in. It is how it is. Oh no, he's gonna start crying. Oh. Oh, so I was right. When you first ran away from the police. He's doing it too. Oh. Oh. Oh, the phone. They're actually holding the phone. Yo. <clears throat> yo, 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 yo. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Dead ass. Oh, a bus is coming, what? He can't, he can't give her eye contact. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Wait, stop, 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 stop. Hold up, hold up, hold up, stop, 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 stop. Stop. There's always something interrupting. There's always something to interrupt, bro. And they, and they hit again. This time. He's over, oh, bra. This time he's behind. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold up. Hold up. Stop. Stop playing with me. Stop playing with me. Stop playing. Stop playing with me. Stop playing with me. Stop playing with me. Stop. 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 Stop playing with me. Stop playing with me, bro. What's happening? Stop fucking playing with me. Please stop. I might tear up, bro. Shiromaru, what are you doing, bro? <laughs> Every time Shiromaru is always at the point where the third, where she has a third party, bro. Oh, another dragon. Damn, I must come months away though. Of course, she, I, there's always something that happens, bro. I hate it. Kick the stack of stuff. Oh, that'll be the worst. Piss in a frog? What? That's never. I've never heard of that once in my life. Again. <laughs> Open arms. Let's go. Open arms. Love that. The gleam in your eyes. I feel so bad for Shiromaru, man. She's. I'm telling you, she always ends up in the the worst positions when she runs into like Nakami Isaki. Alright, Shinomaru. Look at her in, in her gaze. Oh. <laughs> yo, yo. Yo. <laughs> yo. He didn't take the hint. Oh, they're so embarrassed. That's so cute though. Wow. They're so cute. One of the best sloppiest No. I wanna make a, a pun about the rain, but I can't. The episode was honestly amazing. It hurts my heart because I've been in situations like that where you work so hard for something and then or towards something and then an outside force just takes it away and shuts you down and you're just left completely numb like how he was. 
I was supposed to have like a birthday party, a big one outside when I was younger, and then just the rain took it away. And it was one of the most disastrous moments of my life because obviously when you're young, you always have want to have a cool birthday party, this and that, and it, that just took it away from me. And I was I cried for a good bit, but you know we're still here, we're still alive. And it's so funny how much of parallels in my life I see in this. Like, there's always for me, anyways, where I live, anytime there's like an astronomical event where an eclipse solar solar or lunar or a meteor shower a comet view by you can see what is it jupiter or venus no i think it's saturn next to the moon things of that nature it's always a cloudy night either the night is cloudy or it's raining or just something happens where i can't ever see it and it pisses me off dude it pisses me off so much because i always get so excited I'm like oh I'm going to wake up or like I'm going to stay up because I know the the, so the lunar eclipse or the blood moon is going to be at 5 a.m., 4 a.m. So I'm just going to, you know, s stay awake and outside my house, I can stand on my deck and just look at the moon because I have a clear moon viewing outside my my, uh, my house. And it's cloudy. It literally, it's literally it's the cloudy from the morning till the next day and it's always super annoying to deal with so i understand that part it, it's super frustrating it's so frustrating dude nakami and isaki are like at this point i dude i i literally thought that they were about to kiss it, it seemed like it. i don't know what the fuck <laughs> magari was doing when he was stretching his face uh, nakami's face like that i don't know what that meant because normally i feel like it should be like she be you know doing this like you know that but I said she was stretching it out and looked so weird. And of course, Shiromaru had to jump in and find them. Just like how she always gets the butt end of it. You know, when Nakami asked out Isaki to the, the uh, firework, this and that, she's always there, like so embarrassed. And how she grabbed um, Ukagawa's shrimp head and her shrimp head and started making kissing, uh, <laughs> I don't know, making them kiss and looking at them. That was very funny. And... I also found it nice that Nakami was able to cry in front of Isaki as well. Obviously, it shows that he finds a safe space when it's a safe space when he's with her. And that makes you smile a lot too. Knowing that he's okay, you know, even though he doesn't most friends, he just has very impactful ones. And for the teacher to be such an MVP treating them the hamburg steaks and notifying them that there's plenty of other meteor showers, that's that that's not the only one. There's always gonna be more. No, anyway, there's always gonna be another chance. It is such a confidence booster knowing that just because this one got canceled doesn't mean there's never gonna be another one. So all in all, it was it was a, a very fantastic episode, and I hope they don't get sick because standing in the wind and rain like that for so long is will take a toll on your health. So I hope they're fine because the worst thing is to get sick midsummer because you're already hot and sweaty, and then they combine that with the uh, already summer heat. It's going to be super annoying. And I also feel like that Nakami also got accepted into Isaki's friend group. Even though there's a little bit of competitiveness with that one girl, the pig, I don't know, the brownish hair girl. Everyone's able to, has a good connection with each other. They have a, a starting, a, you know, a good base for a friendship. So I, I love that for him. And when they, especially when, dude, when they're in the bus stop, I knew it that that was when they ran away from the cops. And it was. And it was such a throwback because it just shows how far they've progressed together and how she's how Magali said that ever since that I thought I thought you were someone special oh my god that got me right in the chest I was like oh my heart yeah so many sentimental moments in this episode man it's just gotta love it man I love it when they when there's there's some tear jerkers or they pull in your heartstrings it, it just makes it makes it that much better it, it's the perfect one of the perfect forms of escapism the way I see it. I'm going to stop rambling because I feel like I've gone on for too long. Thank you for watching like always. I'm very grateful for every, for everything. Everything, man. I don't know why I'm trying to get philosophical or, or, or deep. It's funny. But yeah, yes, that's all I got. Thank you forever and always. I'm very excited for the, these last couple episodes. It's going to be bittersweet. Hope you have a good one. I'll see you on the next episode video thing.